okay so what is up everyone this is here and here welcome back to tech current youtube channel this is the latest asus rog ui uh, custom room for the redmi note 9s redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 pro max and poco m2 pro users a mere tool build and this has rog ui with the, some little bit of gimmicks like if you go for the display if you go for the refresh rate you can easily change the refresh rate to 120 hertz it's up to you many things are available and a lot more things which you can do in this custom room is it quite good for the daily use you can use it on your device some themes a lot more things in this video stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started guys it comes with a very cool kind of unique kind of ui basically you can see the something new kind of quick settings panel where we have this x mode auto rotate flashlight and all those things are available we also have the air triggers this is kind of a os from a gaming device of course it will not make your device as a gaming device because redmi note 9 pro is not that much good kind of device with some good kind of gaming but still it will give you very cool kind of unique features which you could expect in your device which includes themes and wallpapers of course were expected if you go for the advanced options wait let me show you which talking about which i'm talking about we have the mobile manager all the asus apps are available but it has some little bit of bugs which first of all the bug is brightness slider i will not slide this this is kind of a bug the brightness will not go to bilkul total zero so little bit of issues are available here and there even if it will be at zero you will see some amount of brightness available so brightness is kind of a bug available here it might have some little bit of bugs available here and there let me talk about some other things which you get in this build first of all let me show the default themes we have if you go for the themes and wallpapers if you go for the theme store many themes are available on the theme store if you are looking for them but if you want some pre-installed themes it has three or four pre-installed themes as you can see some themes are already available on the theme store which you can buy of course and of course not recommended i will not recommend you to buy but yes if you like it you can buy it some free themes options are also available if you want to apply some free themes you can download them directly from here or also you can see my themes option where we have these four themes pre-installed you can apply any theme from here that will be applied successfully without any kind of issues we have the wallpapers options wallpaper slideshow a lot more things and here we have some rog interesting wallpapers options available any wallpaper you can try out it's up to you many cool kind of things expectedly are available in this build moving on to some other things apps and notification etc let me show you by going into network and internet we have the y w i y gig v gig you can say i honestly don't know what is this actually so i will not share about this anything and we have the asus v gig display dock we have the connected devices apps and notifications if you go here as you can see my wi-fi is enabled if i go for the hotspot and tethering enable the wi-fi hotspot the wi-fi and wi-fi hotspot are not working at once which is a good kind of feature in me why in new sorry in other AOSP based rooms but not in UI and this ROG UI moving on to some other things we have other things include the sound and vibration which has the same kind of features we have the phone link tone alarm link tone same kind of features which you get in ASUS and almost everything seems to be same here like the ASUS and some features are inspired from the ASUS ROG UI you are working fine but some features are not working well moving on to the battery stats these are working fine but one thing which i noticed so far battery uses data is not available i tried i'm using it from some time but the battery uses data is not recording i don't know why but yes it's not recording so this is the thing which i noticed on my device also display as brightness level as you can see it's just a 17 percent but still it's quite bright so the brightness is mainly a issue for some of the users if you're looking to install this build you need to consider this thing in your mind because the brightness will not go that far or that low so this is one of those things splendid this is also kind of a bug don't change these values at all if you change these values 
then it will not revert back and you need to reboot your device to make it revert back so this is also kind of bug don't use this i am still using you i'm still telling you that don't use this smart screen on sleep also has only up to 10 minutes so a little bit of disappointment here for me and this is the thing which i was talking about refresh rate which is available to 120 hertz sometimes it clicks sometimes it doesn't go sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't i don't know why maybe for from the overlay that's why it's not working i have not tried but it should work this is one of those things which i liked a lot power menu style these are four styles which you get pre-installed if you go here for example now let me show you the elegant power menu this is the elegant power menu which you get here and if you go for the calm one let me check out this one if it is working this is the new one and as you can see we just click there there was some light there so these are some little bit of minor bugs available here and there if you go here and we have this kind of power menu option but also if you have noticed one thing if you click here as you can see it's just selected just i touched here and it's selected so this is the thing automatically going on and i don't know what is this and why is this going on these were the things you get here font style has three fonts options available by default fell bridge and the sender whichever font you want to choose you can choose that one and also if you go here you can click here and maybe that will launch other app which is not available or maybe it's available you can try out installing some third party apps if it is working for you status bar icon manager includes many kind of icons options available we have other things system navigation where you can of course enable the gesture navigation if you are looking for it and if you don't want to enable you can simply use the navigation bar from here i personally use this and here comes a twist where you get the always on panel and yes it's working fine if you click on clock style we have the three clocks available for example if you want to choose this one click on apply and it's done so just turn off your screen display once and this is how this is looking always on display you can say aod is working fine so this seems to be really interesting and nice kind of thing but of course it's not recommended but yes it's available so yes you can use that if you want to other things new notifications led indicators are same here we have the privacy location and here we have the face lock which is not working so it's not recommended also fingerprint is uh, sorry fingerprint is working but the face lock is not working so it's not recommended advanced has many cool kind of tools which includes a mobile manager if you go for the mobile manager you'll see these kind of asus apps this is from asus if you have ever used asus devices you might get to know and we have the games any option available this is one of the school kind of things you can connect your youtube account you can live stream from here live audio source this are some cool and interesting things which you get in a gaming device many cool kind of features are available you can simply enable the game toolbar for which of those games i tried playing as fault 9 here and i just got a little bit of issues little bit of frame drops not much but yes little bit of frame drops in my game but that's not a big issue you can simply play games without any issues air triggers options is available but i don't know if it is working or not pocket mode and glove mode all those things i already shown you let's take a brief look at asphalt 9 gaming I tried playing as for time for some time and didn't got any kind of major issues available here and there but that's not a big case you can use this it has only a little bit of frame drops available nothing else and nothing much you can talk about if you talk about some other games I haven't tried to play them but yes it should be one of those cool kind of games I personally love to play and that's why I'm using them I'm playing them you can also use and play these games and it has no issues while playing the game for some time it didn't hit your device much and after using for some time after playing games for some time i enjoyed a lot and you can also use these kind of things for on your device these are the things i just want you to let you know i hope you like this and if you're looking for some other things wait let me show you some other things sorry for that the here we have some other things the default wallpaper is the dynamic one other things i've already shown you the themes are available looking for some other things i haven't read the magisk by the way but the safety status is not passing without magisk if you go for this safety status is not passing but after installing magisk or hiding props i'm not sure maybe it will work or maybe it will not work 
all these things i just want to let you know i have shared with you if you're looking for the installation and how to install this thing you just need a zip file to install and it's done or you can watch me some previous videos to get the note get to know about how to install these kind of builds on your device very easy to install so it will take some time to install just be patient and you can install that the major things the bugs and features everything in this video i've already shown you if you like this this is all thanks for watching and goodbye